What is myositis? Myositis is a group of rare autoimmune diseases that primarily affect the muscles. These conditions involve inflammation of the muscles, which can lead to muscle weakness, pain, and in some cases, muscle damage. Myositis can affect people of all ages, but it is most commonly diagnosed in adults and is more prevalent in women than in men. The exact cause of myositis is not well understood, but it is believed to be related to an abnormal immune response. Where the body's immune system mistakenly attacks its own muscle tissue. It's important for individuals with myositis to work closely with healthcare professionals. As the management and prognosis of these conditions can vary depending on the specific subtype and individual factors. Early diagnosis and appropriate treatment can help improve quality of life for people living with myositis. What are the types of myositis? Myositis is a group of rare autoimmune diseases that primarily affect the muscles. There are several different types of myositis, each with its own characteristics and clinical features. The main types of myositis include 1. Dermatomyositis, DM. Dermatomyositis is characterized by muscle inflammation and skin rashes. It primarily affects the muscles but also involves skin abnormalities. The skin rashes associated with dermatomyositis are typically reddish or purplish and can appear on the face, neck, shoulders, chest, back, elbows, knees, and knuckles. 2. Polymyositis, PM. Polymyositis primarily affects the muscles and causes muscle weakness, pain, and inflammation. Unlike dermatomyositis, it does not have the characteristic skin rashes. 3. Inclusion Body Myositis, IBM. Inclusion body myositis is a progressive and debilitating form of myositis that primarily affects older adults. It causes muscle weakness, particularly in the muscles of the arms and legs. IBM is associated with the presence of abnormal protein deposits within muscle cells. 4. Necrotizing Autoimmune Myopathy NAM. NAM is a subtype of myositis characterized by muscle fiber damage and necrosis, cell death. It often leads to severe muscle weakness and may be associated with autoantibodies. NOM can sometimes be triggered by certain medications. 5. Juvenile Dermatomyositis JDM. JDM is a form of myositis that affects children and adolescents. It is similar to dermatomyositis but occurs in a younger population. It involves muscle inflammation and skin rashes. 6. Overlap myositis. Overlap myositis refers to cases where myositis occurs in conjunction with other connective tissue diseases such as systemic lupus erythematosus SLE, or systemic sclerosis scleroderma. It presents with features of both myositis and the associated autoimmune condition. 7. Amyopathic dermatomyositis ADM. Amyopathic dermatomyositis is a subtype of dermatomyositis where patients experience skin rashes but do not have significant muscle involvement or weakness. 8. Cancer-associated myositis Some forms of myositis are associated with cancer, particularly dermatomyositis and polymyositis. In these cases, myositis may develop in conjunction with the presence of cancer in the body. Each type of myositis has its own unique clinical presentation, and diagnosis often involves a combination of medical history, physical examination, blood tests, muscle biopsies, and imaging studies. Treatment varies depending on the specific type and severity of myositis but often includes medications to reduce inflammation and suppress the immune system. Physical therapy and supportive care are also essential components of managing myositis to help maintain muscle strength and function. What are the symptoms of myositis? The symptoms of myositis can vary depending on the specific type of myositis and the individual patient. However, there are some common symptoms and features that are associated with myositis. These can include 1. Muscle weakness. Muscle weakness is a hallmark symptom of myositis. It typically affects the proximal muscles, which are the muscles closest to the trunk of the body. This can lead to difficulty with activities such as rising from a chair, climbing stairs, lifting objects, or combing hair. 2. Muscle pain. Many people with myositis experience muscle pain, which can range from mild to severe. 
The pain is often described as aching or soreness and may be worse with movement or activity. 3. Fatigue Fatigue is a common symptom of myositis and can be debilitating. It is often related to both muscle weakness and the systemic inflammation associated with the condition. 4. Skin rashes In some types of myositis, such as dermatomyositis and juvenile dermatomyositis, skin rashes are a prominent feature. These rashes can appear on the face, neck, shoulders, chest, back, elbows, knees, and knuckles and may be red or purplish in color. 5. Difficulty swallowing, some individuals with myositis, especially those with inclusion body myositis, may experience difficulty swallowing, dysphagia, due to weakness in the muscles responsible for swallowing. 6. Joint pain, joint pain and inflammation can occur in some cases of myositis, leading to symptoms similar to arthritis. 7. Respiratory symptoms, severe muscle weakness in the respiratory muscles can lead to breathing difficulties shortness of breath and respiratory complications in advanced cases 8 fever in some cases myositis can be associated with fever especially when there is active inflammation 9 unintended weight loss myositis related muscle weakness and inflammation can contribute to unintentional weight loss in some individuals 10 difficulty standing or walking Progressive muscle weakness in myositis can result in difficulty with standing, walking, or maintaining balance. It's important to note that myositis symptoms can develop gradually or suddenly, and their severity can vary from person to person. Additionally, the presence and severity of symptoms can depend on the specific type of myositis and the extent of muscle involvement. What causes myositis? The exact cause of myositis is not fully understood, but it is believed to be related to an autoimmune response, in which the body's immune system mistakenly attacks its own muscle tissue. This autoimmune reaction results in muscle inflammation, weakness, and other symptoms characteristic of myositis. Several factors may contribute to the development of myositis, and these can vary depending on the specific type of myositis. Here are some factors and potential triggers associated with myositis. 1. Genetics There is evidence to suggest that genetic factors may play a role in the development of myositis. Certain genetic variations may increase a person's susceptibility to autoimmune diseases, including myositis. 2. Environmental factors Environmental factors, such as infections, toxins, or medications may trigger or exacerbate myositis in individuals who are genetically predisposed to the condition. Some infections, like viral infections, have been linked to the onset of myositis in some cases. 3. Medications Certain medications, such as statins, used to lower cholesterol, can trigger a form of myositis called drug-induced myositis. In these cases, discontinuing the medication often leads to symptom improvement. 4. Autoimmune Factors Myositis is considered an autoimmune disease because the immune system mistakenly targets and attacks healthy muscle tissue. Autoimmune factors that contribute to myositis may include the production of autoantibodies that attack muscle proteins. 5. Inflammation Inflammation plays a central role in myositis. Abnormal immune responses and the release of inflammatory substances contribute to muscle inflammation and damage. 6. Aging. Some forms of myositis, such as inclusion body myositis, tend to occur more frequently in older individuals. Aging-related changes in the immune system and muscle tissue may play a role in the development of these conditions. 7. Hormonal factors. There is some evidence to suggest that hormonal factors, including sex hormones like estrogen, may influence the development or progression of myositis, as the condition is more common in women. It's important to note that while these factors are associated with myositis, the precise mechanisms and triggers can vary between individuals and types of myositis. Myositis is considered a complex and heterogeneous group of diseases, and ongoing research is focused on better understanding its underlying causes and developing more effective treatments. Diagnosis and management of myositis often involve a multidisciplinary approach. 
with healthcare providers working together to address the specific needs of each patient. Treatment typically includes medications to suppress the immune response and reduce inflammation, along with physical therapy to help maintain muscle function and mobility. Symptoms of Autoimmune Myopathies Do patients with autoimmune myopathies have many of the same symptoms as those with inclusion body myositis? Toxic myopathy, or muscular dystrophies, which are inherited forms of muscle disease. Patients with autoimmune myopathies, such as dermatomyositis and polymyositis, may experience some similar symptoms to those with inclusion body myositis IBM. Toxic myopathy, or muscular dystrophies, which are inherited forms of muscle diseases. However, there are also distinct differences in the clinical features and underlying causes of these conditions. Here is an overview of the similarities and differences in symptoms between these groups. 1. Autoimmune myopathies, dermatomyositis and polymyositis. Muscle weakness, both dermatomyositis and polymyositis are characterized by muscle weakness, which can affect various muscle groups. Muscle pain, muscle pain and tenderness are common symptoms in autoimmune myopathies. Skin changes, dermatomyositis is associated with skin rashes, which are not present in the other conditions. 2. Inclusion Body Myositis IBM. Muscle weakness IBM primarily affects the muscles of the arms and legs, leading to progressive muscle weakness. The weakness tends to be more severe and asymmetric than in autoimmune myopathies. Difficulty swallowing Dysphagia Difficulty swallowing is a common symptom in IBM but is less common in autoimmune myopathies. Lack of response to immunosuppressive therapy. IBM typically does not respond well to immunosuppressive medications, which are often effective in treating autoimmune myopathies. Protein deposits IBM is characterized by the presence of abnormal protein deposits within muscle cells, which are not found in autoimmune myopathies. 3. Toxic myopathy Muscle weakness Toxic myopathy can be caused by certain medications or exposure to toxins, leading to muscle weakness and pain. Associated Symptoms The specific symptoms of toxic myopathy can vary depending on the toxin or medication involved, but they may include muscle pain, weakness, and fatigue. 4. Muscular Dystrophies Progressive Muscle Weakness Muscular dystrophies are a group of genetic muscle diseases characterized by progressive muscle weakness and wasting. Age of Onset The age of onset, pattern of muscle involvement, and rate of progression can vary widely among different types of muscular dystrophies. Genetic inheritance, muscular dystrophies are typically inherited conditions caused by mutations in specific genes. In summary, while there are some overlapping symptoms, each of these groups of muscle diseases has distinct clinical features, underlying causes, and treatment approaches. A proper diagnosis and differentiation between these conditions are essential for developing an appropriate treatment plan. Healthcare providers typically use a combination of clinical evaluation, muscle biopsies, blood tests, and genetic testing to accurately diagnose and classify these muscle disorders. Treatment strategies vary depending on the specific diagnosis and may include medications, physical therapy, and supportive care.